In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most popular laser machines in the cosmetic field, which is the Sinashore Elite Plus. The Sinashore Elite Plus is used for dark and bright skin hair removal. Now, this amazing machine is equipped with two wavelengths, the Alexanderite 755 nanometer and the Indy Yak 1065 nanometer. Here's some general rules to abide with when you are using the Sinashore Elite Plus or any other laser machine. First, and the most important one, is always wear the protective eyewear. And never look at the handpiece or the fiber cable, otherwise the laser beam will damage your eyes. Second, only authorized person should be allowed in the laser treatment room. So make sure you put a sign on the door of the room. Rule number three. Cover all windows and any other reflective objects like mirrors on the laser treatment room. And whenever you are not using the machine, make sure it's on the standby mode. Whenever you need to stop the laser session right away and immediately, always reach for the red emergency button on the machine and the laser session will shut down immediately. The Sinashore Elite Plus provides a variety of hand pieces starting from 5 till 24 millimeters. Now talking about the parts of the device, we will start with the key switch or the on off switch which allows you to turn on or turn off the device. After the key switch, we're gonna talk about the foot switch cable which connects the foot switch with the device in order to use it when you want to release a laser beam. The two other cables are the fiber cable and the data cable which are connected to the device handpiece and the already mentioned before the emergency stop button. And on the frontal part of the device you can find the water tank and the water tank connector which allows you to refill the water tank of the machine. Now how do we refill the water tank if the water level was low? Simply we can connect the pipe within the water connector and we will start to pour the distilled water within the funnel. After turning on the machine, the device will take several minutes to warm up and adjust its voltage. Now jumping on the buttons on the main screen, the first couple of buttons will allow you to adjust the fluence, it can let you increase or decrease it. The next set of buttons are used for pulse width, which allows you to change the pulse width based on each patient. This button is also known as the rip rate button, which allows you to increase the speed of the pulse. The system check button, which also allows you to do a calibration for the device. Now this button allows you to switch between the Alexanderite 755 wavelengths and the ND Yag 1065 wavelengths. Setting up a treatment session. First and what's most important is adjusting the wavelengths based on the skin tone we are treating. We usually use for bright skin tones the 755 wavelengths and for darker skin tones we use the 1065 wavelength. After choosing the correct wavelengths you need to adjust the fluence based on the parameters and the patient's skin tone. After setting up the parameters, you need to check the handpiece size and make sure that we are using the correct size. Now to get our device ready to use, we need first to press on the standby button. After pressing on the standby button, we need to press on the system check button. Now the device will start to calibrate and after it finishes calibration, we need to press on the ready button. When the green light stops flashing, this means that the device is ready to use and you can start now your treatment session. 